Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is an episode from our Camping and Survival series. Uh, we've got another one of our monthly boxes that we're getting from Bud K. It is our mystery SHTF gear box. All right, so here we go. We've got a handful of stuff, and this is one of the biggest things I've got, and this is actually pretty cool, but we won't get into the big one first. Uh, let's go ahead and do some of the simple stuff. Foldable twist razor. So we've got, uh, looks like a little round handle here. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, look at that. So you've got this little tube here, about basically the size of a lipstick tube. You twist it, out comes a double-edged safety razor. Uh, it comes with uh, four additional blades, so it looks like this one's supposed to be on there, but it uses these uh, double blade, the double-edged blades there. Uh, not sure if that's kind of a standard standard connector or not. If it's a standard connector, it'd be great. Then we can, uh, of course, have spares, but there you go. So, you know, you need to uh, kind of keep trimmed up just a little bit, um, keep your face cleaned up a little bit while you're while you're out or whatever uh, this could be this could be a simple camping item as well as I, I, I don't know if it's necessarily that greatest of survival items but uh, you know there could be reasons and now we'll go ahead with this next one I'll go ahead and take it out of the bag here and uh, this will be this will be a nice one I, I'm sure a lot of us can kind of get into this just kind of uh, kind of a neat idea here um, something I actually wouldn't mind trying and uh, this is uh, Beginner's Guide to Moonshine Distilling. Um, and, and actually, beyond the obvious reasons of, uh, you know, having alcohol to drink, uh, having this as well, uh, having moonshine or being able to distill alcohol is actually also a good thing um, in terms of you can use it as a disinfectant and everything as well. So beyond the fun of having something like this or being able to do something like this, uh, there are some actual health benefits uh, to having it. Now this does fold out. This is a, uh, a laminated piece. You can see here they talk about the ball jars. Uh, they show some basic uh, information here, some pictures of like a, of a still uh, and a distillery. And here you go here. This is actually how your distillery setup is supposed to go as it filters out and uh, purifies the alcohol. Now we've got another Rampage here and this is uh, Rampage Stealth. It says assisted open so obviously this is going to be one of my kind of favorite things which is a knife uh, and slide it on out there. This is beefy. This is, this is pretty heavy right here. Uh, very thick. Look at that. Um, that's God. That's more than a quarter of an inch across. That's got to be. That's got to be almost. That's got to be like five sixteenths of an inch. Um, you've got the ice or the ice. Uh, you've got the glass breaker there. It is plastic. It is, these are plastic um, sides here. You have. Uh, you don't have a finger flip here. Uh, it, it is knurled at the back here, so you've got some grip. Uh, but there's no finger flip out. There's just the uh, the thumb assist. But let's see. That's pretty stiff. That is a little bit of a, uh, but it still comes out reasonable. It's a little bit stiffer than I expected. Now I'm surprised. The blade, compared to the size of the handle, it's it's not as deep as I was expecting it to be, and uh, it's a little bit shorter. I would have thought it would be like another quarter inch or so longer. And I would have thought an eighth to a quarter of an inch deeper, but uh, still, overall, it doesn't. It's not bad knife. It has kind of those recesses there for your fingers to fit into. Um, so uh, it feels pretty good in the hand. It's got a nice. It's got a nice weight to it. Like I said, it is pretty heavy. Um, let's see. I don't have a whole lot of hair on my arm because I have been sharpening knives lately, but. Yeah, that just that just took the hair right off right there. So it is coming out of the box, uh, razor sharp, and uh, that's that's not bad, not bad at all. 
Now we've got another thing. Now this is something else I actually like, uh, and mul for multiple reasons. Um, this is a paracord watch. All right, so you've got a paracord bracelet, uh, which my guess is, yeah, this is not gonna be 550 paracord. Uh, this is maybe like the 200. Uh, you've got, of course, the standard uh, link system here. So it goes in and snaps together. Uh, you've got a nice little watch right here, which, okay, you just pull the tab out and get it started. I'm not gonna do that just yet. That's nice, we actually have one that seems like it's a working compass. Uh, that that's definitely beneficial um, the of course the clip here you've got a couple things you could of course see the metal here and uh, that goes with the center post there which is a uh, a ferro rod and uh, let's see if we can I want to try it let's see if we can get, get scraped off yep a oh, little bit takes a little bit to do it especially when it's attached on here like that but you know it does work so the ferro rod works and the fact that it's on this is makes a nice holder uh, I do have a little whistle I'm definitely not gonna blow that loud because sometimes these can be really loud uh, and I'd rather keep my hearing let's see this thing does also say there's some stuff inside I can feel it thick and you can kind of I'm not sure how well you guys can kind of see that the little kind of white section in there um, that's showing through right there uh, let's see does it say it says uh, obviously the fire starter the whistle uh, the compass it has oh a fishing kit it has a nine piece fishing kit it says uh, there is um, some fire tinder in there uh, as well as uh, a couple of safety pins and our last one course our biggest piece here and uh, the one I'm actually kind of excited for because I was actually just looking to get one of these uh, so that's really nice this is a 50 pound um, pistol grip crossbow uh, I've actually had these in the past and I have spare bolts for this as well as I was looking at getting some uh, something like this to use to go fishing with um, and get those special uh, fishing bolts three of these blue bolts with uh, regular field points then we got a yellow and an orange one uh, those might be more for maybe practice target shooting um, of course with field points you don't generally do too much hunting uh, all right so we've got a few little pieces here it looks like we've got the ends for the bow section there uh, we've got some kind of screw there with the wrench we have our string and it is uh, it does have the center winding on it we've got of course the pistol part of it here um, this does use an iron sight type thing so you've got your windage and elevation knobs here uh, and then your sight piece there uh, your cocking mechanism which is just pulling it back and forward uh, now this is a, a polymer uh, so this is all basically plastic um, you've got your safety uh, forward would be on okay it does not have an auto lock on the safety so keep that in mind this does not have an auto safety you have to manually put the safety on and then we've got our uh, bow piece now this is interesting the bow piece um, other ones I've had have been made of some type of uh, composite fiber and this is actually a well basically a piece of sheet metal all right so I got this thing strung up I actually had to put this on the ground and put my foot right here and press down while I pulled it up to get this on there because this is uh, so tight so for 20 bucks getting this as well as all this other stuff here um, I would say that is a pretty good deal now uh, for all these they're saying the crossbow there they're saying the crossbow itself is $20 and then you've got the razors and they say that's five bucks which yeah pretty close that's what I figured uh, the moonshine making guy now they they say that that's eight bucks uh, that might be a little expensive for it but uh, you know not not too bad uh, again paracord watch with the compass and everything uh, they're right on what I guessed uh, you know 15 bucks 
and uh, then the knife there they are asking or they do say that it is around $13 and so this is you know this is world of me uh, my name's Cougar uh, another episode from our camping and survival series uh, if you guys want to check this out Bud K we do have the link for them down there in the description below uh, as well as our social media links down there as well and uh, we do have of course our little subscribing icons uh, floating like in the corner there's of course the button down below if you haven't subscribed already uh, hit that little bell icon to get notified when we've got new videos coming out hit that thumbs up button let us know that you like this video and uh, yeah that'll do it for us guys well my name's Cougar I'd like to wish you guys all a good day and I will see you later bye